the moon hanging majestically over the Caribbean tonight, shining its light on Grenada. And just below then, the stadium packed with fans who are here to watch the first ever Grenada Invitational. And some of the biggest track and field stars on the planet are here. And Otto, maybe none bigger than the one we're about to see in the women's 200A final in Veronica Campbell Brown of Jamaica, two times the Olympic champion in this event. And she is an eight-time Olympic medalist. The last of those was one in getting the silver last year in Rio with the Jamaican four by one. There she is to the left of your picture in the blue strip. She'll run out of lane four. 21.74. She has been winning medals for Jamaica it seems like now for a lot of years. And Veronica Campbell-Brown has had such an incredible career, and you got a chance to talk to her yesterday. When you come for this another season, what is your motivation to keep going as somebody who's already been Olympic champion several times over, world champion several times over? I'm feeling good, and I still enjoy competing. I still love the sport. And so I'm just trying to make sure that when I walk away, I feel like I do everything that I was placed here to do. And for me, this season is about having fun and see how fast I can go. I really want to do much better in both the one and the two. And I really think that I still have it in me to run faster than I have so far. So I'm still um, tracing my potential, so to speak. So at 34 <laughs> years of age, still motivated to win medals for Jamaica, something she has been doing for almost two decades. Veronica Campbell Brown in lane four. And a fair start in the women's 200 meters featuring Veronica Campbell Brown of Jamaica in lane four in the blue trying to grab the lead as she comes around to the home straightaway. VCB now got just about a meter but on her inside is Felicia Brown of Jamaica of the United States and now Brown is pulling away as VCB slips off a bit it will be Felicia Brown of the United States winning in lane three and no shame in losing to Felicia Brown who has a 22.26 personal best the former Tennessee volunteer VCB was in control for about 150 of this race and then she hit a wall somewhere around 50 meters to go and that led Felicia Brown in so the world leader BCB at 22.60, which incidentally is the same time that Felicia Brown just ran. We just don't know if it's a new equal fastest time in the world because we don't have the wind reading. But BCB third from the right here got off to a great start. Caught Candace McGrown to her outside. But to her inside, Felicia Brown was tracking her. They came off the turn about even. And now here's the fight, Brown versus Campbell Brown. And Brown pulls ahead. And eventually, VCB would fade to fourth. Here's a super slow-mo look at the start. This race included Kaylin Whitney, the world junior champion from back in 2014. She's on the inside. But around the turn came Felicia Brown. And now she starts to pull level and then ahead of VCB. And VCB will go back to training thinking, ah, this did not go as well as the Florida relays because this definitely was not the last 50 I was looking for. Well, despite not winning today, VCB always giving a valiant effort. She's always so stoic and just an incredible representative of her nation and the sport. And, of course, she didn't win tonight, but that didn't stop her from stopping to speak with Alexa. She's down there right now. Thanks so much, Lewis. She definitely is a queen in her own right and always will be a winner in our books. DCB, how are you feeling about that run? Hmm. It's okay. I felt better my last hundred meter. I feel like I've made a lot of mistakes in it, but that's how it is. I part of the season. I have enough time to clean up things and get ready for the Jamaica Trail, which is the most important apart from the World Championship. All right, well, you definitely are always a winner for us, VCB, and we look forward to seeing more of you this season. Thank you. All right, back over to you guys. Thank you, Alexis. And again, always represents herself in a country with such great class. VCB not winning tonight, but she's got her mind and her eyes on something bigger than that. And when we come back, the men will be on the track for the 200 meters, first the B section, that and a lot more from Grenada when we return. <laughs> 